Hi guys, I am about to start on the book 2, so let's continue on on Dreamfall chapters. I hope you will enjoy this as much as I do. So, let's start! I have not played this game before, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. Chapter 3 Trials Hush, baby, hush. Rest your head on your pillow, little one. You'll be home with Emma soon. I've missed you, my child. I've missed you here in the deep. In the dark, in the cold, come to me, my sweet little Kiana, come home. How is he now, Will he live? Your magic brought him back from the darkness. My magic helped him stay, but the fight is alone now. You must choose to live. Hush, Kian, hush. Rest your head on the pillow. You will soon be home. In the deep, in the dark, in the... Why do we keep him alive? He's the enemy. The fever gave up. No, Rico. We brought him here for a reason. We need him alive. You freed me, Kiana Wane. Don't blame yourself for my death. This is what I wanted. To be free. To be reborn. When I do kill you, you will feel every twist of my blade as your life drains away. Your pain and shame and dishonor will serve as my vengeance. And I will be there to witness your soul departing for the nether realms, for the shadow in that deep, dark, cold water. They can only protect you for so long, Apostle. In the end, you will have to face your sins, and you will pay for them. Sleep, my child. Sleep and never wake up. We're waiting for you. All of us. We're waiting in the deep. In the dark. Join us here. There's nothing for you out there. You belong here with them all. In the deep, dark, cold. Forever and ever. I must go. He'll wake soon. Make sure he drinks water and eats. He will recover. The only wounds I cannot heal are on the inside. He must heal those himself. Wake up, Kian. Wake up. Wake. Up! Where are the shadows in the mammoth? Hmm. Uh, I have no idea where we are. Let's investigate. Kill him when they have the chance. After all, he's our enemy. He murdered Waven. I hear he defected. The Apostle's one of us now. Shit, he's here. What if he heard what? Shh. They're waiting for you out in the main hall. Okay. Yeah, I kind of heard them what they said that he should die and they wanna kill him and 
kind of that stuff that you shouldn't be talking to, but yeah. It's nice to feel popular. The trader is back on his feet. Praise the balance. How are your wounds? I won't answer their questions until I know who they are and what they want with me. My wounds are not fully healed. They've dressed them and seen to me while I've been feverish. They must know I'm still weak. This has to be a test. I'm in some pain, but my wounds are healing. What is this place? Hoping to run back to your masters with the information and buy your life back? Liko. You are in the Enclave, the ancient library of the Sentinel Order of the Balance in Mercuria. It serves as our base of operations. Our? The Resistance Alvani. Those who have come together to fight the Azadi. Magicals, like her. And me. I remember. The captain. He used my sword to run himself through. It's his blood on my hands. The portal. Blood magic. The shadow has cursed me. The goddess will not touch me again. And will never walk the slopes of the first mountain. The captain. The captain. Balsai Bakin laid down his life for yours, Kian. Why? Believe me, I've asked the same question. Why? Why lose a great man like Bakin over you? A butcher, an apostle, a fucking Azadi. He insults my people. They have committed crimes, yes, but the responsibility lies with our leaders, not with every Azadi. This creature, this man, I've seen many Dolmari in my life, but there's something familiar about this one. He ins we are not all the same, Dolmari. Perhaps. But then my people all look the same to you, do they not? We are livestock. I've turned my back on my people. So you're also a traitor, Keanu Vani. We'll add it to your list of crimes. Okay. Attack is not let anyone, least of all a Dalmari, speak to me in this way. My life was already taken from me. Why make all those sacrifices for a traitor and an enemy? Why am I here? We chose you. We sent Captain Bakim to his death in exchange for your life. We need you. As a symbol. But also so much more. We need strength, we need leadership, we need hope. Our numbers are dwindling. Most Northlanders have come to terms with the Azadi occupation. Humans are turning their backs on the resistance and a blind eye to the genocide of magicals. We need someone to give us hope so that we can fight back and win. You're a tool, Apostle. A blood weapon, nothing more. We need your help, Kian. Will you join us? Do I have a choice? There is always choice. And for every choice, there are consequences. You can't let me leave. If I refuse, you'll kill me. We might kill you anyway. Just give me a reason. We have sacrificed so much to bring you here. This is your chance for a new beginning, Kian. A new life for the redemption I know you seek. Let them lock me up. Throw away the key. Let them kill me. I will never be one of them. I can never be one of them. But what choice is there? I have no nation, no faith, no mission. What does it matter that their resistance is not mine? That by fighting my people, I might save my people. What would you have me do? You will go into the city tonight with Liko and Enu. They will give you instructions and they will keep an eye on you to... to make sure. To help, if needed. I'll be watching from the shadows, Apostle. A poison arrow pointing straight to your chest. You know our cause is true. You know that your people are in the wrong. Do this and begin your journey back to life. I'm doing this for April Ryan. 
She was the one who made me question myself, my mission, my faith. Fuck you, Garthy. There is nothing you can do to repay that debt. April is dead, Kian. Do this instead for all those who still live. Do this for the soul of your people. Do this for yourself. The boat will take you to Shady Quay in Old Town. I will let you know when things are ready. After you're done with your mission, we'll meet up at Ulvik's Tavern. And if you don't show, we'll hunt you down and skin you like a rabbit. You may find I'm not a rabbit. Try me, please. Liko. Enough. Talk to the other ripples and we will call Jacket and run Spandit, okay? Can I talk to her, Shepherd? You have recovered well, Kian. Your wounds were deep. You are strong. You brought me back to life. I'm still not sure why or what for. We would not have saved you if we did not believe in you. The Dalmari does not agree. The Dalmari has a name. And Liko has his reasons. You may want to speak with him. And what if he's right? What if I'm not the man you think I am? It doesn't matter, Kian. You have been born again. You can become the man you want to be. Not everyone gets a chance at redemption, to undo the damage they have done and to shape their own future. The captain said the same thing, only with different words. Balsai is... he was a man who spoke his mind. And spoke freely. I never met anyone who cursed as colorfully as he did. It was truly a thing of beauty. But he too had a past that haunted him. He was a lot like you. With us he was given a second chance, a rebirth, an opportunity for redemption to atone for his sins. And he did. For the time being, I can do more here than I can anywhere else. I'm caught between worlds, part of neither. I don't belong. For the I will try not to disappoint you. I have faith. Don't talk to me about faith, Shepard. Faith is everything. Faith can lead you astray. Blind faith, yes. But faith can also lead you back to life. We will help you open your eyes. Kian, would you share your story with me? I have heard only fragments, rumors. I know there's more to it. She saved me, gave me a second chance at life. She has faith in me, even when I've abandoned all hope. If anyone deserves the whole story, it's her. I want to put the past behind. She's... Of course, Shepard. Before all this, I was the Apostle. Back home in Azadir, I was loved and feared. I laid waste to our enemies in the name of the Goddess. A little over a year ago, I was summoned by the Six, our Empresses. They commanded me to travel across, across the sea to the occupied territories of the Northlands. I was, I was to find and kill the rebel leader, leader known as the Scorpion. He had murdered many Trueborn, and he stood in the way of our mission. I had always been taught that magic was evil, an affront to the laws of nature and to the goddess. I had been told that the magical races were dangerous and immoral. But when I arrived here in the Northlands and met the people of Mercuria, well, magicals were not the simple monsters of my childhood tales. Magic wasn't simply a tool for evildoers. It was a lot more... complex. Then I met April Ryan, rebel leader. Of course, I didn't know it then. She was a stranger, our meeting accidental. But I know now that it was meant to happen. She was strong and honorable and good. She stood up to me. She questioned my beliefs, my faith, my mission. 
her strength made me question everything. But I still went after the scorpion and the resistance, blindly, on faith. I finally tracked down Scorpio. April Lion, infidel, terrorist, leader of the resistance. Nothing made sense, but a choice had been made. The consequences were inevitable. My own people had me followed. My blind faith led them straight to her, to April. They killed her, decimated the resistance, sentenced me to death. For a year I rotted away in Fry's Keep. I was already dead, a walking corpse. I had lost everything and given up. But now, now I have the opportunity to redeem myself and my nation, to help rebuild the resistance, to avenge April Ryan, and to bring justice to those we, those I have hurt. For that I'm grateful. Of course. Thank you. When you've spoken with the others and are ready to leave, come see me again. Is that everything you have to say? Okay. So the Apostle has finally risen. A shame the fever didn't kill you. We'd all be better off. An even greater shame that a good man had to die for you to live. No matter the circumstances, I will never let anyone speak to me in that way. He hates me. But why wouldn't he? His people has caused mine suffering and death, and we have returned the favor twofold. We will always be enemies. Leave me be, Dolmari. I will not, Apostle. You're a Zadi. Sooner or later, I will spill your blood. Just like you have spilled the blood of my people for generations. Like you, I'm from the West. From the great continent we call Antigua Abba. Land of the setting sun. The place your people call Mihabir, and then Azadir. As though through occupation you came to possess it. You are of the Azad Dolmari tribes. I am of the Dol Antiqua, the Western Dolmari, first of my people. And yes, we have met before, Apostle Alvani. He must be mistaken. I thought before that there was something familiar about him, but I've been trying to remember, and how could that be? I don't think he's lying, but where could we have met? I didn't spend much time in the Northlands before being thrown in the keep, and the only Dolmari I met in Azadir were condemned prisoners and those I fought in battle. None of them ever lived to see another day. He's trying to taunt me. We have never met, and he has no reason to hate me personally. I don't think... Where did we meet? You murdered my father in front of me. If it hadn't been for my mother holding me back, I would have torn your throat out. And then neither of us would be here today. We faced each other again years afterwards. But I'm sure you have no memory of that either. After all, what's another filthy magical... You made me who I am today, and someday soon, I will unmake you. But I swore to Shepard that I'd set my private grievances aside. For now, unlike you, I keep my oaths. But if I ever suspect you plan to betray us like you betrayed your own, I will not hesitate. I will kill you. And once this war is over, we'll settle our accounts. You will pay for my father's death, my mother's grief, and my people's suffering. Mark my words, Butcher. Your days are counted. Light of the Goddess.
Our water tanks are running dangerously low. Kian Alvani, soldier, apostle, assassin. Oh, I expected someone taller. Ah, never you mind. Welcome to the movement for the liberation of Mercuria and the Northlands. Welcome to the bloody resistance. How's your back, eh? The herbs helped. Aye, she knows her stuff, our Zidmari medic. And she was concerned for you. Sat with you until your fever passed. Never left your side. I'd say she was sweet on you. But it wasn't even that. It was like she... Like she was paying back a debt. I'm the general, me. I run this place. You got a problem with logic sticks, you come to me. Your bunk ain't soft enough or hard enough, the general's your man. Not happy with your rations? Call on the general. Maybe that stuff ain't as important as intercepting communiques or assassinating a zaddy, but this place don't run itself either. Got any questions, soldier? I know nothing of this place. Where I'll be eating, sleeping. I think he's the right man to ask. I have a feeling I've seen this man before. It wasn't... I know nothing. What can you tell me about life here? You have your bunk, your bread, your bread. Shepherd tells you what you need to do. Army life, sonny boy. There's not much more to it. There's a room at my disposal. Well, it ain't really your room, laddie. Only when you sleep and when it's otherwise unoccupied. We operate on shifts, see, so when you're on assignment, someone else be using your bed. Don't worry, we we'll make sure someone shakes the fleas out of the sheets and empties the chamber pot. It's all sanitary. Unless there's anything else, you may carry on. Oh, and laddie, make us proud now. You hear me? Okay. Can I talk to her? A year ago, I fought them. Planning? Today, planning on I'm one of them. Hello. Hi. So, new guy, huh? I'm Enu. Actually, it's Enumar Sandhya, Twilight Child, daughter of Tayamar, and... And my father would kill me if he knew I used just Enu instead of my full name like a proper zid, but he's not around, so... Hey, I'm Enu. You're Kian. I can't not speak with these... these people, now that I'm supposed to be part of their resistance. The girl deserves a response. I know I need to learn to speak with these... I can't... I am. Great, hello! Azadi, huh? That's... Yeah, great. I've never been. Is it nice? I hear it's nice when they're not, you know... Waging war and murdering magicals. <laughs> uh. Conquering. Murdering. That's how she sees my people, my nation. As if the Zid don't have blood on their hands, too. If she could see as a deer as I see it, she'd know there was so much more to it. But what's the point in trying to convince her? This is all she knows about a deer. Maybe, Maybe that's, that's not, not so surprising. How would someone, someone who's not from there know the truth? These people only see the actions of a conquering army, led by criminals. It's my responsibility to ensure that our story... You think that's all we do? Oh, no, obviously there's, um, things I don't know. I just... We don't get to socialize with Zadi very often. The ones I meet wear armor and carry swords and show up. Also, they, they kill Zid. Zid. So, uh, maybe I'm biased? Anyway, I, um, I just wanted to, you know, present myself for you. Introduce myself to you, not present myself. That's just, that's not appropriate, daughter of Tamar. Ugh. Sorry, I'm screwing this up, aren't I? She's trying too hard, and I'm not succeeding. I don't know why she bothers. It's not, not like Levis. She's, she's trying her best. Despite her prejudices, 
despite how the Azadi, how we have treated her and her people. She's, you're doing fine. It's an honor to meet you, Enuma Sandhya, Twilight Child, daughter of Tema. Oh, wow. The same, Chan Albani, apostle of the Azadi, son of, um... It's just Kian now. You can call me Kian. Okay. Kay. Can I call you Kay? You can call me Kian. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's, that's much, much better. Kian, Kian. Welcome, welcome to the Resistance, Kian. Kian. Sorry about Liko. He has issues. We have a history, he and I. Oh, uh, okay. History. Got it. Won't well, pry. I'm, I'm trying, trying to cut, cut back on the prying. I find myself warming to this one. She's not half as annoying as she first. She's not too bad, this one. I find myself warming to her. I so, what's your story, daughter of... Oh, just and No one calls me daughter of blah blah here. And my story is totally unexciting. The opposite of exciting? Boring? Dull? Humdrum. That's the word. I'm a humdrum farm girl. Was. Was a farm girl. And hey, now I'm a rebel. Go figure. Never saw that one coming. Well, that's, that's not, not entirely, entirely true. true. At, At least, least my parents, parents don't totally disapprove. They'd, They'd be happier if I stay put in and out of trouble. Married a boring zid farmer, had little boring farm siblings. But they are proud of me. They believe in the cause. And they totally hate the Azadi. Sorry. You have good reasons for hating us. Yeah, well... I'm not sure I can go back there when this is all over. To the farm, I mean. I like fighting for something. I like, I like having a purpose, purpose other than farming, being a loyal daughter, a siddling breeder. Clearly. <laughs> I really <laughs> wouldn't make a good zidwife. I'd be the worst. I'm sorry. This is way too much information. I was just going to say hello and then blah, so, um, hello. And hey, good luck out there tonight. Well, uh, I'm going to be there with you, but in a way, there it is. Ah. Oh, she's so cute. Have I talked to everyone? No, there's somebody else I haven't talked to. Hoi, Alvane Dar. It's an honor seeing your eyes. Dar is an honorific in Azadia, and Hoy a common greeting. He must have had interactions with Azadi, or studied language and culture. Who taught you the proper Azadi form of dress? Oh, I, um, I, I, I did business with you, with the Azadi for several years. Until my aunt's tavern was shut down and she was arrested. And, and until I learned what was really happening. You took part in that raid, at the journeyman inn. Ben Reem Salamin is my mother's sister. She raised me after my mother died. I, uh, I, I took her surname. I'm Jackai. Jackai Salamin. I was following orders when I arrested his aunt, but that doesn't absolve me of responsibility. I arrested his aunt, but apologizing won't do anything. I was Your aunt was harboring rebels. I was under orders to arrest her. I'm sorry for what happened to her. Your aunt is a strong and honorable woman. Oh, I don't blame you, Dar. Neither does my aunt. In fact, it was her idea to break you up. She knows you'd be an asset to us. You know, I only joined the resistance less than a year ago. Before that, I was a businessman, and my customers were mostly Zadi. He obviously wants to tell me his story. I should let him. It was good business. I, uh, I profited from the occupation. I made a lot of money. It shames me to admit it now, but I actually believe in the Azadi. What they were saying made sense. Even, even the things they say about magic. For a while, I blamed them for everything. I even went so far as to join the National Front for Faith and Family. Do you know who they are? 
Azani collaborators, anti-magical crusaders, turncoats. I'm not proud of that. This story seems important. But then, when my aunt was detained and sentenced to five years in cold stone, it, it changed everything. Opened my eyes. I realized it wasn't the magicals who were at fault. It was the Azadi. It was us. Those of us who didn't speak up or, or take action. Those of us who betrayed our own. He really was. I saw that the resistance. And now here I am. With all these brave people. Like... Like, like Anu. Oh, she's great, isn't she? I'm really impressed with how she... Uh, how she holds up. Boy, the Zid are really striking people. So pretty. Anyway, that's my story. It is quite a story. Isn't it, though? I'm, I'm glad to have you with us, Dar. It'll make, make a huge difference. You have my support. I should be getting ready for tonight. Of course, Albani Dar. And Akian. I'm sorry for going on and on. Good luck out there. So, I have been talking to Inel. Go. Oh. Are you ready, Kian? I am. Good. Liko and Enu are joining you. They will tell you what you need to do tonight. How do they expect me to enter the city and not be recognized, even at night? If any Azadi sees me, they'll sound the alarm in an instant. How do you expect me to walk around unseen? Any Azadi will recognize me in an instant. Of course. That's, That's why, why I was in my resources made this, especially for you. Magic. There's no escaping it here. If you want to help us, I'm afraid you must drink it. A Bakshiba masking potion? Not quite, but a good guess. A masking potion would last for less than an hour. This is an Ehardian veil. It remains potent for days. It makes all but the trained eye slide off you. Unless I speak to anyone, the guards won't even notice me. I'll be like a shadow to them. It's a very potent and very costly magic. Not easy to come by. You know your potions. When, when I, I trained, trained to become, become apostle, I was required, required to learn magic. Know your, your enemy. I'm sure that will serve you well. Drink it before you step ashore, and the veil will conceal you. But be cautious still. Don't speak to any Zadi guards or sympathizers. Don't attract attention. And remember that those who know you intimately can always see through the veil. Liko and Enu are waiting for you down the stairs, in the hidden harbor. But you can't go to Mercuria looking like that. You'll need to get dressed. I've left some clothes on your bed. I trust they will fit you well. Okay. Let's get some clothes on. What do you think the Asadi are building? Build machines and metal tubes everywhere. As if it's some sort of weapon. A little bird told me it's a new form of indoor it's plumbing. Without wind the power is just be able to push a button I mean, to get the rid of all your... Oh, right, that must be it. Someone We're risking our lives for, for how long? Until there are none of us left. You have this ship. Who is this? They're a scruffy lot, these rebels. How can they really expect to win against my people? Uh, I have changed the clothes now, and I guess we are going to the water thingy. Wait a second. I should end this episode here, so I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.